Tech Dad, and today I'm looking at two Keurig compatible uh, single serving coffee makers. What we have here on the left is a Cuisinart SS700, and it uses the Keurig uh, capsules that you can put in that are single serve coffees. And on the right here is the Keurig Special Edition. So I'm going to take a look at both of these. They're, they're pretty similar. The price points are about within $60 of each other. The Cuisinart being a little bit more expensive. You can see it's a little bit different type of uh, design, whereas the Keurig is a little more rounded. The Cuisinart is a little more boxy. Um, and there seems to be a little bit more brushed aluminum and that sort of thing. So let's take a look at these a little bit closer. So each of these single serve coffee makers use these little uh, K-cups and what they are single serving uh, capsules that contain like this one contains milk chocolate, this is uh, has some black tea and then here's one for regular coffee. They both operate pretty much in the same way. You lift open the, the top part here, you put the um, K cup in there and you close it down and then you brew your coffee. So you can see both of them have very similar designs and they look uh, pretty close in terms of the way everything is. You can see some coffee grinds in there. We've been using these pretty regularly. So both have a detachable drip tray so that you can uh, take it out and put in larger um, mugs or something like that if you need to. So they both slide out here so you can see that. That's a nice feature to look for in any one of these, these uh, single serving drip um, coffee makers because a lot of times you're going to want a bigger uh, mug to fit in there. So another thing they both have obviously is a water reservoir and you can see here I have this one all filled up to the top and there's one on the uh, Keurig as well. You saw the, the Cuisinart previously and um, one difference between these, these two is that the Cuisinart does actually come with a uh, filter that you can put inside. You can see it sticking up there and it's down at the bottom so you don't have to pour in filtered water. So another thing that both of them have are these uh, LCD displays. I haven't turned them on yet because as soon as I turn them on it's going to start sucking water out of the um, reservoir and start heating it up. And so I thought that I would do a, a time test to see how quickly it takes to warm them both up from cold. So these have been off for a while. I'm actually going to fill up the water a little bit more on the Keurig here. Both of them also, just so that you know, have little blue lights that go on when you need to fill up the reservoir a little bit higher. So that's a nice feature. It should also say it on the LCD screens. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on. So the power button on the Keurig's up at the top here, and then for the Cuisinart, it's sort of along the side here. So I'm going to try and can't do them simultaneously, but I'll try and do them as quickly as possible. So here we go with one there, and there we go with that one there. And you can see on the Cuisinart it's saying not ready, and on the Keurig, if I can zoom out here, it is also saying not ready. Now if you can hear that, the Cuisinart is starting to make some noise as it heats up and the Keurig is uh, doing it as well but it's a little quieter. So from being cold completely it takes about, I don't know, anywhere between two to four minutes and it does vary by device which isn't too bad when you think about it. You can also set these to automatically turn on at a certain time. So there's a menu here. You can program them. Same thing on the, the Keurig. You can, you can program things. 
Um, and once it is warmed up to brew a cup of coffee like this, it really doesn't take that much time. And this is really awesome if you're trying to get your kids out the door in the morning to go to school and you don't have time to measure out a full, you know, all the cups of coffee or scoops of coffee that you need and, and putting those into a coffee pot and brewing it all. If you don't have time for that, I totally recommend getting one of these uh, single serve uh, solutions. So you can hear it, they're warming up. Not ready, not ready. Should be ready any minute now. And then once we do do that, I'm going to actually not actually brew a cup of coffee, I'm just gonna do some hot water, but then uh, do them individually so you can hear them. Because uh, there is a big difference between the, the sound of the pump that's inside as it comes out um, and pulling water. So a, a thing to keep in mind that, that's good is, is how noisy are these. These aren't too bad when you think about it. They're both going simultaneous here. It sounds like everything's boiling away. We should be ready any second now. Um, and just a, another quick note on these. These um, cost about um, 40 to 50 to 60 cents each. The coffee, um, the, the, the hot chocolate one, which my kids love, is the most expensive. So it looks like the Keurig's ready to go. It says ready to brew. And the uh, Cuisinart isn't quite there yet. So you can buy these in bulk. Um, you can get them at Costco, at Target. Uh, Amazon has them. Just shop around for a special. You can buy them you know, in 100 packs or 20 packs um, and totally recommend stocking up on them because they're really fun to make. So you can hear it's gotten quiet and the Cuisinart is ready. So the Cuisinart prompts you, it says open the head, that's the head unit there. And this one just says ready to brew. So I'm gonna get some cups and get ready to go. All right, so we got some cups in there. And what I've done, you can see that the, the LCD display has changed a little bit. And what I, all that I did was open it, pretended to put one in, and it's the, the Cuisinart is asking me what size do I want. So you can do like four ounce iced coffee. You can do six, eight, 10, 12 ounces. I really like that on the uh, Cuisinart. I always choose the 12 ounce um, simply because uh, I like more coffee. Now with the uh, Keurig it's a little bit simpler. You just have the small, medium, and large. So what I'm going to do is just fire off the large here. You can hear it pumping the water. And the water level is going down. And now you'll hear it start coming out. So normally this would be coffee coming out, but I'm just doing hot water. So there it goes right in there and literally it just takes a few seconds to get a hot cup of coffee so in the morning what you want to do is leave this thing uh, fired up and on so that the water is hot because as it finishes off the coffee it'll pump more water in and heat it up and have it ready to go we're almost done here and that's it it's pretty much done So you can hear it pumping right there and you can see the water level is going down as it fills up the reservoir inside to heat up again. So that was the, the Keurig in action. So now let's do the same thing with the Cuisinart. I'm actually going to open it again. We're ready to go. I'm going to put it on the largest one or maybe I'll do it on the middle one just so that we can get an equivalency because the Cuisinart actually... Um, actually has a, a, a larger size, larger reservoir, so it can do a bigger cup of coffee than the Keurig can. So I'm gonna wait a second until the Keurig stops heating up, because it's making the noise of heating up the coffee, or the water to be prepared. Oh, I think we're ready, so I won't even pause. Okay, so here we go now with the Cuisinart. I'm just gonna hit brew here. So you can hear it's a lot quieter. You can see the reservoirs going down. And here comes the uh, Cuisinart 
coffee coming out. And it's quite a bit quieter than the Keurig is. But still using the same K cups and that sort of thing, which is uh, pretty nice. So that's it. It's done. And it's going to start sucking down. You can hear the pump is a lot quieter on the Cuisinart. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, so the Cuisinart is heating up the water for the next round. You can hear it's about the same sound level as, as the Curie itself. Now with both of these, you do have the option to use your own uh, coffee and they use this thing called a My K cup. Now uh, what that is is both of the the Cuisinart comes with this the Keurig you can buy it separately and the Cuisinart actually has a nice storing area for it so it basically it looks just like um, one of the K cups that you buy except what you have inside here is a filter and you put your own ground coffee into the filter Obviously, you do it with two hands. You put it in, you screw the top back on, and then you put it back inside here. You actually have to remove uh, this piece right here, and I'll show you that all assembled in just a second. Okay, so in both of these, you can basically just pop out this thing right here, and that's what you normally put your K cups in. And then you take your, the my K cup and you put it right in there close it down and you would brew it the same way you would um, with a regular cup but you're using your own coffee in here which is pretty nice. The one thing that I found on both of these devices when you use the My K cup is there is quite a bit of spillage that comes out of the side here um, on both sides so don't freak out if you see that happening. Um, that's pretty normal and most of the coffee <laughs> will get into the cup. I haven't had any spillage at all but um, in terms of convenience, I would recommend sticking with the, uh, the, the store-bought K-Cups. But do know that you do have the option to use one of these with your own uh, types of coffee if you want to. So there you have it, two single-serve coffee or hot beverage brewing solutions, both using the Keurig uh, K-Cups. And um, my personal opinion is that I like the Cuisinart from the looks and feel uh, a little bit better. It just looks a little bit more elegant. There's more information within the LCD screen. There's a bigger reservoir that has a filter. You can do larger cup sizes, and it's a little bit quieter. But the, the Keurig Special Edition um, is a great one as well. It's, it, it's fast. It, you saw that it warmed up the water faster than the Cuisinart. And it's, it's a, a stellar device as well um, for brewing coffee. So if you're rushing out the door in the morning um, and you need a quick cup of coffee, either one of these I really recommend. And you can read more about it on my blog at www.hitechdad.com and if you have any questions about this or any other products you can ask me on Twitter and you can reach me at Hitechdad.